Hello, I'm Angela Wallace and I'm the Nurse Director in NHS Forth Valley. This is a short message in celebration and commemoration of VE Day on May the 8th, 2020. It is also the International Week of Nurses across the globe. When you are a nurse, you know that every day that you will touch a life or a life will touch yours, lest we forget. As we pay tribute to VE Day on the 8th of May, and we pay tribute to those who have given their lives that we may have a safe future. Not only a safe future, but quite a different world full of possibilities and progress, much more than those who fought for us could ever have imagined. selflessness, bravery and courage that nurses shared with the men and women who fought for and gave so much for this precious victory and for a world that owes such an enduring debt. But celebrate on this day we did and everyone did. Everyone who served, everyone who nursed and everyone who had taken on the roles that those had to leave behind to keep the country moving and the troops prepared, supported and cared for. This celebration is clearly joyous and you can feel the freedom in the images that were shared across the world, but it allows us to consider the choice that must have faced these women in the moment of their call up. Clara Barton, who was, an, who was known as Angel of the Battlefield in the 1860s in the American Civil War, shared this deep sense of why people stepped up, why people stepped up to care for others during wartime. She said, I may be compelled to face danger, but never fear it. While our soldiers can stand and fight, 
I can stand and feed and nurse them. During war times over the centuries, the art and science of nursing took such significant leaps. The skills, the professionalism, the approaches to prevention and harm for those who we were serv serving, and more importantly, the multi-member team working that we need today, that was built on those battlefields to treat people today in complex, challenging and uncertain environments where our battles now are fought against quite invisible enemies. In 2020, the thought of nursing in fields is simply beyond our comprehension. But today, across the globe and in our four nations, field hospitals have been constructed in a matter of weeks. Some named after game-changing nurse leaders, Florence Nightingale and Louisa Jordan in Glasgow, to face the battle of our lifetime as we respond to the global pandemic COVID-19. More than words can say, thank you. I am grateful and in awe of every single one of you. Eleanor Roosevelt once said, do one thing every day that scares you. My fellow nurses and midwives are doing this over and over each duty and over and over each week. And, and you just keep returning to duty, leaving those you love behind, worrying if you will see them again or bring that threat home to them. There are simply no words, there are none. But the country decided they needed no words and they said it well without words and their actions evoked a response worthy of the wartime spirit. They stood outside their homes, hospitals, they stopped if they were on duty to clap and clap they did. The nation let the world know that 8 p.m. every Thursday, they said thank you they said thank you and that they were proud, that they loved, respected and they were full of gratitude for all who were serving the nation, all of those key workers. And heroes from the war times who had already given so much, well, they just gave again. And the nation responded to our veterans as they came alongside us in our battle. Colonel Tom Moore thanked the NHS and for that he raised over £30 million and those, that money will be for those who continue to lay their lives and lose their lives to the virus across our nation. We have never faced this threat before and Colonel Tom showed that the veterans are still caring for us. Colonel Tom made me reflect that this moment intertwines the sense of togetherness, that so many stories of the war or battles of our past was focused on and was key to success. And the effort that came to bear to support the front line, shield the young and those whose health makes them vulnerable. As we commemorate VE Day and as we continue to ask the nation today to engage in the war effort, albeit not building planes and munitions, but to stay at home, to save lives and protect the NHS. Colonel Tom Moore has completed a circle for me and in doing so supports inspired a new generation to step up and build a new future, safe in the knowledge that those who gave us the future we have now are still guiding and protecting us today. We honour those who have gone before us and in this special celebration of VE Day and International Nurses Week, so we take the time, this moment today, to remember, to give thanks with word and voice. We are grateful for the bravery and the courage of our front lines across so many disciplines, including my fellow health and social care colleagues, and to our army colleagues today who have come alongside us to guide NHS Scotland to face the greatest threat of loss to life in peacetime. Will we need the support from Colonel Tom's gift to care for those who will need care after the battle is over? There is one thing I am certain of, from the outpouring of the nation on VE Day, Colonel Tom and a nation at 8pm every Thursday night, we have not forgotten and I feel said certain that lest we forget. Thank you.